Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart. Hey, did I get your attention? We're doing something special for the next month. We're going to focus on now business. Like how do you generate income today, right now? My name is Jesse Zagorski. You probably know me as one of the regular hosts here, producer of the Agent Power Huddle. I'm also a broker associate with EXP. And I, what I keep hearing over and over again is agents that truly need to shift their business. The market shifted, they need to shift and they got to close some deals today. And so whether you're a brand new agent, this series is for you. Experienced agent, this series is for you. It doesn't matter. Agent on a team, team leader, we're going to give you strategies and techniques to figure out how to scale and grow your business to close deals today. Not in the future, not tomorrow, today. This is what we're focusing on all month, the techniques, the strategies you need. So welcome to the Agent Power Hub. Hi guys. Welcome. I am Wendy Goss, your real estate boss with EXP Realty in Las Vegas. So I um, am honored to be able to um, host this class. And we are going to talk about loving and hugging your past clients. So um, I own, this is like uh, an hour presentation. And um, so I'm going to... <laughs> might go through it just a little bit quick because I want to make sure that I get through it and and anybody that can wants to ask me questions can ask me questions but anyway um so I'm gonna just share my screen real quick and get right into it no mm -hmm. oh, sorry guess I should have been ready for this right Okay, so a little bit about me. I love Jeeps and Harleys, so <laughs> you will see those uh, throughout my presentation because those are what mo mainly my clients are. So when I say love and hug your clients, I'm actually love and hugging my friends because um, they're awesome, right? And they're going to get you so much more business than an online lead. You know, yes. Online leads are great, but literally 90% of your business is going to be your past client and referrals if you do it right. So um, anyway, so I'm going to just hop right into this presentation and talk about kind of what I do um, to stay in touch with my past clients and sphere. Uh, so I believe in um, sending them things that they will love. And, you know, I know not everybody loves the Raider, but... I have Raider calendars and I send them out every year. They're a magnet and goes right on people's count or refrigerator. And I think I'm on almost 5,000 people's refrigerator this year. But the first one that gets mailed out is to my past clients because I want to make sure that they have that. It also has uh, Vegas Golden Knights on it too. And uh, so you want to make sure that you're giving value and I believe I have that right here. So this is what it looks like um, up front. And then um, and then we want to send them out some type of email every week just because you want to stay in touch, you know. But I I held off on this for so long because so many weekly emails are boring. Like, here's the market stats. This is what's going on, you know? And not everybody cares about the market. If they're not buying and selling right now, sometimes they don't even care, right? So um, I can't remember uh, who I heard it from, but uh, someone said that people love events, right? In the community, like maybe do some type of email that goes out and says, these are some, a couple of events you don't want to miss this weekend, right? So make it to where they want to open the email. And, um, and, you know, everybody likes going and doing something fun. So this is what my weekend bucket list looks like. This is literally a new video every week. So I talk about something that I'm going to be doing down here. Uh, you know, so this one, I have my yoga mat and my wine glass and we talk about, you know, going to wine yoga and, um, and hopefully I see them there. So there's like a couple different ones we pick out and then we make sure that, um, that, uh, we have a link here that goes to all of the events in our city. So this has been, this has been really cool and people love it. And I just had an agent thank me because she followed the whole thing. Cause I did a whole tech Tuesday on this, on how to create it in KB core and get it sent out. Uh, and she's already got a lead off of it. So that's awesome. Um, 
And then I also, I have in here weekend shopping lists. So I have all properties and then I have single family, high rises and condos and townhouses. So these are squeeze pages linked right to my KB core site too. So it's funny because I'm like logging in, I'm like, who are all these people shopping? You know, because you can see in your CRM, like all the people that are shopping for homes and they're people shopping right from my weekend bucket list. So, um, so I think it's working. I just started this last year and we send it out every Friday. We get it ready on Thursday. And then I take my picture and do my little video and pick the events. And then it goes out first thing Friday morning. So um, that's the weekend bucket list. Uh, lottery tickets. I know that's kind of crazy, but um, they work, you know. So uh, this is what I did for Thanksgiving. I sent out a Thanksgiving card thanking everybody for being in my life. And um, and then I uh, just did. And we don't even have lottery here in Nevada. So I had to drive to Arizona to get tickets. But I got $300 tickets. And, um, and put them in the cards. And basically it was kind of funny. It's just like, here's a little something to thank you for being my life. Restrictions do apply. If you win big, you better be thinking about buying another home through me. So, um, but I mean, wouldn't that be cool if someone won the lottery? (laughs) I mean, don't you think that they'd be investing in real estate? Um, and that would just be fun anyway. So I really like that. I started that last year too, and I'm definitely doing it again. Um, but that is, uh, what that goes out, uh, and then quarterly calling, you know, you want to make sure that you are staying in touch with your past clients, not necessarily, hi, how's your house going? You can find them on Facebook, find out what they're doing, what's going on in their life and talk to them about that. They, they know you're a realtor, you know, (laughs) and, and the funny thing is, is they'll ask you, so how's the market? You know, cause that's just what they do. Quick question. Are you loving this podcast? We record it live Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific on Zoom. Want to join us live? Go to agentpowerhuddle.com. Next month, we're changing the format to only release two podcast episodes per week. So if you still want the replays of the daily version, you'll need to start going to our website, agentpowerhuddle.com to hear every episode. All right, back to the show. So um, so definitely don't forget to make that call and make that connection. Um, and then we send out HomeBot reports. So if you guys don't have HomeBot, you need HomeBot. Like that is huge and people love it. We get a huge open rate um, in HomeBot and basically it just keeps them up, updated on their value over their home. So we put all of our past clients in there in Sphere that we have. We also put all of our seller leads that come in. Like we run a whole bunch of uh, uh, home value leads uh, through street tech. So we put them them on there. Um, You know, you can put anybody in there and it's cool because you get a weekly report saying, you know, who's clicking on what, you know, sometimes they're clicking selling signals. Sometimes they're clicking on, should I sell now? I mean, how, how awesome is that? You wake up to an email with someone saying, should I sell now? Like that is so easy, right? So um, anyway, definitely make sure that you're doing something like that because um, that's huge. And then uh, we have Taco Tuesday events once a month. And um, I have this really cool place that has a big parking lot. And like I said, most of my clients are Jeepers, you know, because they are from my Jeep groups and you know, I've bought and sold through them several times and their families and stuff like that. So when I have a Taco Tuesday event, it's kind of like a Jeep Jeeper event, but it's also a past client event. So um, I bring them all in. That way I can say hi to everybody, you know, once a month. Um, But a lot of my Jeep friends see me way more than that because we're out on the trail, you know, climbing around on rocks. So um, so we do that. And then uh, make sure you put your past clients. First of all, make sure that you're friends with your um, past clients in Facebook because you want to make sure that you can, you know, stay in touch with them so that they can see what you're doing, um, you know, keep top of mind. And uh, a lot of people are like, oh no, I don't want them on my Facebook. Yes, you do. When you go to sell them a house and you tag them, uh, guess what? All of their friends and family are going to see 
you know, how you took such great care of them. When when they post, you know, that they got the keys to their new house and they tag you. I mean, look at all that extra exposure and all those people you are not friends with yet. You know what I mean? So, so that is huge. And so after um, we close on them, we put them in a past client list inside of follow-up boss. If you, I mean, not follow a boss inside Facebook. So if you don't know how to do that, I did a whole tech Tuesday on that too. Um, and I did a training video that I just popped into my group. I'll tell you about tech Tuesday in a little bit. Um, anyway, so yeah, so you make sure you put them in there that way you can stay in touch with them because we are huge about making sure that they, um, that we touch them once a month in Facebook. So Joanna, my rock star assistant, helps me with this because there's no way I could do this uh, without her. But she she makes sure she likes something that they posted and she comments and then she sends them a private message, a personal message. So um, so with doing that and they respond to that message, you stay in their news feed for 30 days. So um, so and having them in a list makes it super easy to do that. Um, and then, uh, send videos through HomeBot. So you already have HomeBot. Everybody's in there, right? Uh, you can send, you know, market update videos through HomeBot. You can send, oh, who knows, like the top, you know, five pickleball places in Las Vegas, whatever video you want to send through, you can send right, uh, through HomeBot and it'll hit everybody's email. So, um, definitely do that because you want lots of exposure there too. And uh, you can do personal videos too through there, like, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, you know, whatever you want to do, you can send through there and they get it right in their email. So uh, we also do homemade gifts for our clients. So um, Christmas is a very busy season for me. Uh, we do uh, homemade rugs for our buyers, which have like, um, you know, we literally make them, we, we buy them at, um, Ikea. I mean, they're like $5, right? They're welcome mats in front of their door. And then we spray paint them. Uh, we spray paint them all white. And then we put, you know, like the Smiths or, you know, whatever their name is. And then we put like some, uh, snowflakes on there and then we spray paint it all red and then you take it off and there's their mat. And then we go deliver it to their house. So we do that. I make a uh, homemade apple pie moonshine for um, closing gifts because everybody needs alcohol at closing and they love it. And then when they go to try to get more, <laughs> I'm like, well, if you refer me to somebody, I'll give you another jar. <laughs> I'm really not supposed to sell it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, they like that kind of stuff. For our sellers, we made them, uh, we have a local winery here and we made like a whole barrel of wine. So we were able to put our labels on the bottles and, and, um, you know, give that out to them. So it's fun. And it shows that you care when you give like homemade stuff and then, uh, obviously retarget, retarget, retarget. So everybody is in an audience list. And, uh, so whether they like it or not, I'm going to stay in front of them forever. So. Uh, anybody that's um, in our database or, you know, coming from street text or, you know, past clients, whatever, we're going to retarget with more video, more good content. So um, anyway, so you'll definitely want to uh, stay in front, stay in touch, and you'll stay busy. So um, these are the kind of videos that we uh, retarget with. So we have like you know, staging your home to sell. What is, uh, how can I prepare my home for a home inspection? Why can't I shop for a house yet? So like when people ask me a question, I just make a video of it because other people have the same questions and then I just send them out the video. It makes your life so much easier. So like when, when they're moving out and the contract says they need to leave it in broom clean condition, you know, like nobody knows what that means. And if they do, they think it's just literally sweeping the floor and they're done. So I kind of go and do a little deep dive there so that they can leave their home really nice and stuff like that. Uh, I do like a um, behind the scenes video, how to use HomeBot, uh, how to market your own home. And it kind of makes fun of them, you know, trying to market their own home and why they need me. So um, anyway, but it's funny because my past clients, they see me in these videos and they think I'm in commercials. 
So, so that's funny. It means it's working. Anyway, and then um, mail. So we recently signed up with AM Cards. And Joanne will drop the affiliate link in there uh, in the chat. It's awesome. And it it ties together so well with Follow-Up Boss. So if you're using Follow-Up Boss, um, check it out. Uh, it You can set up different templates inside AM Cards. We're actually going to do a whole Tech Tuesday on it next week. And, um, but you can do it like for, you know, uh, one year home anniversaries, two years, three years, whatever, or death in the family or congratulations on your daughter graduating or, you know, whatever you want to send out to them. And it's a handwritten card and you can actually, uh, pop in, you know, um, a gift for them too. So, so I'm loving that. And then, um, like I said, uh, social, make sure you have them on your social media because that's important. And then obviously through your phone, video text messages are huge. So like those of you that don't really want to pick up the phone and talk, like maybe do a really nice uh, video text message and just be like, hi, Joanne, it's Wendy with EXP, just checking in on you to make sure everything's going okay. Or Hi, Joanne. It's Wendy with VXP Realty. I just wanted to check in because I see that your daughter graduated. I cannot believe it. I remember when I told you your house and she was running around acting like me (laughs) with our clipboard. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Have a great day. Boom. Like anything like that, you don't have to say like, oh, do you want to know the value of your home? Are you ready to shop for a home? Do you know you have equity? Do you want to cash in? Like you don't have to say anything like that. Just come from the heart, see what's going on in their life, you know, and then reach out to them about it. So um, anyway, and then uh, Tech Tuesdays. So I don't know if you can scan this, but Joanne's actually going to put a link in the chat for Tech Tuesdays. And I started this last year and it's every Tuesday at 8 a.m. And it kind of goes through, it's a whole hour long of like a deep dive of something. So if you want to learn about, um, you know, follow-up boss or here, we'll go here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, here... If you go into Tech Tuesday with Wendy, um, once you join my group, you can just go into here to topics. And then like, here's all, if you click on Tech Tuesday recording, here's everything. Like like I said, here's the build a newsletter in KB Core. I, I talk step-by-step on how to um, create that weekend bucket list. And then I talk about HomeBot here because there's so much more to HomeBot than people realize. Um, we did one on videos with video hooks, video ideas. And then um, uh, we had a KB Core session with Shannon Pyatt. He is KB Core King. So that was good. Google My Business. We just did that this week. Uh, Core Present. It's awesome. Um, CMA for uh, your sellers. And then uh, Street Text, of course. I love Street Text. So I talk about that a lot. And then uh, YouTube. Uh, we have uh, Agent Launch on YouTube, Metricool, uh, Canva, like uh, Google Calendar, Lead Gen, and then uh, Flipbooks. We make some cool Flipbooks, Bomb Bomb, uh, Y Lopo, Filters, Homebot of America, or Home Buyers of America, whatever that is. That's right. And then uh, Love and Hug Your Past Clients, which is what you're hearing now. Uh, Facebook basics, like sometimes people don't even know where to start in Facebook. And here's a whole Tech Tuesday on what you should, what yours should look like, what you should be doing with it, and how to do that. Um, and, you know, uh, put people in the friends list, stuff like that. Uh, Follow up boss, uh, list reports, the reader magnet schedule. I did like a whole Tech Tuesday on. Uh, doing an ad through um, street text for my calendars. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. So anyway, um, that was me flying through that in 20 minutes. (laughs) Okay, so anybody want to dive deeper in anything? We do have 10 minutes. I just want to make sure that I was able to answer anybody's questions about anything. Hi, Jackie. Nice seeing you here. 
All right. But does anybody else do anything special for their clients Mm -hmm. that they want to share that's working, that makes their clients happy? (laughs) Wow, we have a talkative group here. Nope. Okay. Well, I I just have maybe a question about that. All right. So I just feel like I'm somebody who's been in the business a while, but I've never been one of those people who's just been super productive, kind of just been hovering. And I feel like from day one, like there are so many different things that you can be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you mail out to people? Do you go door knock? Do you do open houses? And I feel like you can just spread yourself so thin and you're just like shotgunning it everywhere. And it's like, how did you figure out a way to focus on one thing and how long did you have to do it before you felt like it was productive and was resulting in something? Well, the thing is, is that um, the loving and hugging your past clients, like you've already closed a home with them, right? So they're already in a list. They're already in a past client group in your database. So like we have a plan. So when the Raider... Uh, you know, Golden Knights calendar comes out, I get them ordered. Our process is get them in the mail to them. You know what I mean? So when the holidays come up, our process is, okay, who were all our buyers this year? Let's get those rugs done. Who were all our sellers this year? Let's do that. And it's not about what's working. It's about staying in touch with them, right? So um, as far as HomeBot goes, you know, after they close on their home in 30 days, we're setting them up on that, you know? So we have a um, post, um, what is it called, Jen? Post um, buyer program? The- <laughs> our, our action list? Oh, the action plan. Yeah, it's a, we have a post and a seller. Uh, it's like a, it's just a like post buyer action plan. And post yeah, yeah, so we kind of created this whole action plan. Like when someone closes, this is what we're going to do, you know, and when they have an anniversary, this is what we're going to do, you know? So the thing is, is yes, you could spread yourself so thin on the online leads that come in, but when it comes to your past clients and your sphere, like the people you want to stay connected with, like tight, uh, yeah. There is no spreading thin. It's just you're doing this. Like, I love tacos. So why wouldn't I have a Taco Tuesday and invite all my friends and past clients? So I just create a Facebook event once a month. And I'm like, see you there, you know? And it's awesome. Like, we just had one this week. And, you know, I got to connect with, you know, a seller or a buyer. I bought and sold with them last year. And they are super excited to tell me about the changes they made on their house and stuff like that. I mean, it's just... It's one more way to get in front of them and I'm going to have tacos anyway. So I may as well just create, you know, an event and invite people to it. So I I don't really feel like that's adding a lot to my life because then at the event, I just go into the event again and I say, duplicate, (laughs) invite the same people and and pick the date and then post. So there, it's already done again. So there's not like a whole lot of planning with that. Uh, it's just about, you know, and everyone's like, oh, we're going to go have tacos with Wendy, you know? <laughs> so, um, so there's that, but as far as the handwritten notes, like if you do, uh, you know, see that something is major going on in their life, like you could literally go into your follow-up box and there's a button that says AM cards and you click on it and it sends them a handwritten note from you. You know, you just create it real quick and send and they mail it and everything. So, um, you know, staying on top of those are kind of huge. And that's why I have Joanne helping me with making sure that we are connecting with them. She she um, likes comments and messages five past clients every day, five of my past clients every day. So um, as me. <laughs> so I know that kind of seems weird. And she thought it was weird, too. She's like, I don't know how to be you. I'm like, just be nice. <laughs> And, you know, she she did not like it at first, but she's getting really good at it. And I'm like chuckling at some of the things she says. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yeah, that's so not me. But okay, it's fine. I connected. Everything's good. Nina. <laughs> Hi, thank you for doing this. This is so great. Okay, I just signed up for your Tech Tuesday. Thank you. 
Um, are, can I ask you on that, are all of the um, past um, rec- recordings on your website, on that site? Facebook? Uh-huh. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. I wanted, wanted yes. to ask you. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Right. If you just go into the group and click on topics. Okay. And click on Tech, Tech Tuesday recordings. All the okay. recordings, all the recordings we've did so far are in there. So if you want to help on anything, just watch one of those first and then reach out if you need more help. Oh, I will. Thank you. Okay. Um, can I ask you two more questions? Yeah. What are your thoughts on home IQ versus um homebot? My my mortgage person just sent me home IQ. He said it's easier to use, more functionality. I'm not totally into homebot yet, so I need to pick one. Okay. Yeah. I actually have zero knowledge about home IQ. Okay. First time I'm ever hearing about it is right this second. Does anybody oh. else, has anybody else heard about home IQ? Jackie? I've heard about it too. And they said the same thing. It's free. Whereas unless you team up with your lender, um, you know, home is cost you not much, 25 a month. But I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't, I'm not much help. I haven't dived into it yet to figure it out, but I'm curious. Yeah, okay. I definitely, I definitely will check it out. But yeah, I pay $25 a month and, um, and yeah, I love it because there is a way to like put special videos in there. Like, uh, if your market's hot, there's a video for it. If it's cooling off, there's a video for it, you know, and I do one with like snow in the background. <laughs> oh, know? I love it. <laughs> and even though it's Vegas, and, well, I guess we are getting snow lately. I have no idea what's going on. what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, this is crazy. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, you could do different videos for uh, different um, things that happen. And then I did some videos with my lender, you know, talking about, you know, different loan programs and first time home buyers and rates, you know, stuff like that, that people are going to be clicking about. Uh, so, so it's very, very customizable. Um, but yeah, I have about 1500 people in there, so it probably won't be switching, but. Oh, uh, Okay. If you want to go into my Tech Tuesday and look at HomeBot, um, there's a whole class on it and it shows like exactly what you can do with it. And then maybe okay. compare it to whatever your lender sent you. And do you connect your HomeBot to BombBomb? Uh, yeah. So um, uh, HomeBot is connected to my Street Text, is also okay. connected to my Gmail. Oh, it's okay. It's also connected to Follow Up Boss. So like it okay. integrates very well. So, oh, okay. Which my next question is street text. Did did you, um, can I ask you, I know you do a lot with street text. I'm getting a lot of leads and I was just kind of wanted to ask around your follow-up processes for some of these leads. Do you have one? Would you mind sharing? Yeah. Um, So, so, um, for the seller leads, like, do you do home value ones? Uh, I do uh, not so much on value anymore. I paid that extra money where they would go in and change up the ads okay. and they're doing it. And it's like a dream. I mean, I, I have really like four leads a day, That's not awesome. all real, but four leads a day. <laughs> hey, you know, we'll take it. It's okay. I can it them. You know? <laughs> or two. Uh, it only takes one or two, but, yeah. <laughs> so, but for, we have different systems for different things. So if okay. it's a seller lead, um, you know, then obviously my funnel is completely built out through street text. Um, but there are some things that I do outside of street text, like, you know, set up on HomeBot. And then um, uh, it'll send a text and an email out immediately, you know, talking to them about, you know, thank you for inquiring about your home's value. I'm working on it right now. And, um, but if you want to get to know me, my Facebook link is below. That's huge because I want people to know me. I, and I send the personal, I don't send my business line. Like my business Facebook is boring. That's for ads. That is not for fun, you know? So, um, so I do that on my very first video so that they can kind of stalk me and get to know me. And hopefully they like Jeeps and Harleys and houses. So anyway, and then, And then I do um, a new email through follow-up boss that's more personal. You know, it's saying what Zillow um, 
Realtor.com and Redfin are saying their value is. It's saying what I found. It's talking about how in order to get a true value of their home, I need to see their home, see what they did, blah, blah, blah. So that is the email that goes out there uh, in asking for the appointment to book on my calendar. And then we do a CMA drop-off after that. And then I do a video. Hey, I hope you got your um, home value information. We dropped at your door today. Um, let me know if you have any questions. That's what I'm here for. So I send a video text about that. And then on the next um, Monday or Wednesday, there's a task for me to call. You know, so then I call. I'm like, hey, just check in to see if you got my email and the package I sent you. Because I like calling about warm things. I don't like calling okay. about, you know, cold things. So um, anyway, so that's my system for that. And then the, and then the um, street text funnel just keeps going. You know, for like oh nine, yeah, okay, yeah. So for like nine months, and then we have them on Homebot, so they will be, you know, um, uh, they will be, you know, taken care of for life until they unsubscribe. So, oh, okay, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, as far as buyers leads go, that it's totally different. You know, they come in, they start shopping immediately, and so we're reaching out to them to see if you know we're sending them the right properties, stuff like that. So um, downsizing, uh, just you want to give them a call and say, hey, did you receive a list of the single story homes that we set up for you? Uh, you know, and if they didn't, then you want to make sure they do get that. And then maybe kind of find out a couple of things that they really do want instead of sending them a whole list of single story homes in Clark County. You know, they may just want Henderson or something like that. So you just ask those questions. But anyway, awesome. Awesome. Thank you. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.